So imagine one day you woke up late for work and you rushed to the kitchen to make your usual toast with eggs, ate them as quick as you could, ironed your clothes, grabbed your coffee, your car keys, left your house and drove to your job when suddenly you remember as you arrived to your office, you forgot to unplug your toaster. You left the iron plugged, your phone charger plugged. In other words, a fire hazard with high electric bills. Wouldn't it be awesome if you could fix that from your office with the click of a button? Well. <laughs> I got news for you, you can, with the Ajax Smart Socket. How does this work? And why is it so amazing to have? Well, let me start by explaining. This socket here is a wireless smart plug. Yes, smart because not only it can turn on and off the power supply through the Ajax app, but it can also tell you how much energy you're consuming. It can control the temperature, whereas if it gets too high, power supply will cut immediately. Same for voltage and current. Having a customizable setting through the app where you could set limits for these parameters. And these are only a few of the things that this socket can do in combination with the Ajax Hub 2 Plus, which is a control panel, to explain a little bit, for not only this product, but a whole alarm system that is capable of intrusion detection, that is capable of water leak detection, fire alarms, video surveillance, and that's just to mention a few. Now, how does it do that, you might ask? Well, this socket communicates with the hub using two secure protocols. Let me explain. The jeweler to transmit alarms and events and wings to update the firmware. And it has a range of up to 1,100 meters. So don't worry, it's very much capable. This one also, it's capable of programming certain scenarios that will make you look like Tony Stark entering his multi-million dollar mansion and without moving a single finger, having your living room lights turn on and the TV with the game and your friend asking you how you did it. But before I tell you how to do that, let me show you a closer look to this socket. Oh, well, by the way, I just wanted to thank Inoxys for the opportunity to review this product. They are one of the distributors here in Canada. So if you need any Ajax products, we'll leave you the link to their website down at the description. So now, back to the socket. This socket, it's a three pin socket, as you can see right here, which is what we call a type B with an LED indication to show the socket state and the current load level with different colors. We will plug it in later on the video and show you how it looks like. But just so you know, when in a low watt situation, it'll stay green. But as the current load increases, it'll go from green to yellow, to red and to purple. There is also a control button on the side right here. And there is a QR code on the back of this device to add it into the Ajax system, which is what I'll do right now. Let me get my phone. So before we scan any QR code, the first thing you need to do is download the Ajax security system app. So now what we're gonna do is open the Ajax security system app. Once you're inside, you're gonna scroll all the way down into add device. We click on add device and then we're gonna be able to scan the QR code right here. So we grab it, boom, scanned and perfect. So once it's scanned, we're gonna be able to name it. So we're gonna name it Ajax socket, there we go. And then we click add device. So now it's gonna ask us to connect, to plug the device into an outlet. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And there we go, it lights up. So it should, okay, there you go. So now it's on, it's uh, enabled. And then we come into here and we can see it. This application is very slick, very, very slick. Literally one of the things um, that I can notice, oh, let me take this off right here. Look at that, okay. Ajax always takes into consideration not only the security system experience, but also the feel and the design experience. What I think, it's almost like an Apple experience to me, you know, when you unbox your new AirPods one day and, and it just feels so elegant. Same thing with them. I mean, it's not only my opinion, a lot of the installers, they say it, it's the same thing. It's just slick. Look at that. I mean, it has LED lights. It just looks elegant for some reason. But yeah, besides that note, okay, once we connect the socket and it's turned on on blue like this, we're gonna go ahead and click on it. 
And then we can see all the little concepts that you can see in here, right? So we can see jeweler signal strength, which is the, the connection with the hub. Uh, we can see that it's online. We can see whether it's active or not. Right now it's not active, but if we enable it, then it'll be active. And then we'll see it here. Uh, we can see how much current is running on it, the voltage, the over uh, current protection threshold, the over voltage protection, how much power, the electric, uh, the electric energy consumed. That is a great point, you know, because for those people that are struggling on a monthly basis, you know, with high electrical bills, this gadget right here is going to help you a lot because you can track how much energy your devices are consuming. So if ever you have your computer plugged in 24 seven, then this is going to tell you, whoa, you're consuming way too much energy, like turn it down, you know? So you'll be able to do those kind of things, which is pretty fun. So now when we click onto the little settings icon right here on the device, we get more options to, to play around with. So of course we have the overcurrent protection threshold already set by default at 15 amps, but we can customize this. So we can turn it down to nine amps, we can turn it down to four, or just set it as it is at 15. And then we can also play with the LED brightness. So if we wanna you know, put it all the way down, then we leave it like that. If we wanna put it all the way up, we leave it like that as well. But talking about LED brightness, I wanna show you something super cool. Remember when I told you that depending on the current that goes into the socket, uh, it turns a different color? Well, let me explain. I'm gonna grab something very quick and show you. So now that we got my very fancy water boiler right here, let me demonstrate very quick how the colors go up. So very simple, we turn it on, there we go. The socket went from green to yellow to red to purple all in an instant. I mean, this is pretty cool, okay? But not only is it cool, but it's telling you something. It's telling you that this device right here, this water boiler, it's a very high consumption device and we can see it in the application. When we open it, we see how much power it, was cons it consumed. Now we can see it consumed 0 0.013 kilowatts. Well, now it went down to two, but you see, it, it updates also live. Like it just take a few seconds to update. So it can tell you really what are the devices that are the most high consumption in your home. And this will help you in the future to reduce your cost on your electricity bill only by you know, looking at a color. So it makes it simple for you to understand, which is an amazing, amazing feature of this socket. Now that we got the water boiler out of the way, this is my favorite part. This is where your dumb sockets at home don't hate me, but they can't compete with the smart one I got here. So when we go to the scenarios option, right? And we click at create scenario, you'll be able to choose from these four. By clicking, say for example, by disarming or, or, or arming. Basically, say you left your hair straightener at home, plugged and turned on. By leaving your house and arming it, through the Ajax system, you can automate your sockets to turn off as you leave your home. Same thing for when you disarm. So when you enter your home, you can have certain things switch on. You can choose them right here, click save, and then, you know, adjust it. We can also do it by alarm. So for example, uh, if you, if we click on it and we see that there is a door protect right here. So if we click this little icon and then we click next, then we can trigger the socket to switch on when we come inside of our house. Switch on what, you might say? Well, switch on the lights, for example. So we go like that, we name the scenario, we click save, and boom, when you go in, Tony Stark, bubby, you go ahead, you enter, and uh, the lights switch on for you. I schedule, that's another one, and it's pretty interesting. Remember that movie, Home Alone? Well, that kid wouldn't have gotten through so much trouble if this device right here existed back then. He would have just taken the Ajax app, pop it in and say, okay, I'm gonna program my house to switch on the lights by 8 p.m. And that way the robbers wouldn't have gotten to his house. Same thing for you. Imagine you are in, uh, I don't know, Cuba, and then you're over there and you don't want people to mess with your home. So you're by the side of the beach, sipping margaritas and then saying, okay, I'm gonna set my device to turn on the lights of my house at 9 p.m. sharp and then turn them off, I don't know, 11. That way, intruders won't come into your home to bother you. Security, guys, security, very important. And now by temperature. If you live in Miami, you know it can get hot and humid, which is so worse. I mean, tell me about it. Humidity, the worst thing in the world. 
say you want to keep your house nice and cool, right? You can set your socket to switch on the AC, for example, once a certain temperature is reached, say 26 degrees. So once your house is 26 degrees, then the switch, the socket switches on and then the AC is on for you. Of course, the socket can't measure temperature. Uh, only other devices paired with the hub of the Ajax system can tell you that. And then, you know, working as a whole in an ecosystem, it'll work like that and set you up. So yeah, scenarios. It's, uh, that's, that's the part where dumb sockets can compete with this one. That's why it's called smart. That's why all the premise from the beginning makes this guy up for the challenge. Oh, well, and one last thing, although not less important, you can always turn the power on or off by clicking the little button on the right down corner on the device page. That's a flex. I'm going to be honest with you. One week ago, I had no idea such device existed. I'm a bit slow, so please don't judge me. But it's the features of this little device that really make me go, wow. It's even stylish, like I showed you. It has LEDs and everything to tell you how much power you're running through it. So if you're really finding it hard to remember to turn off your PC or your TV when you leave your house, this is a great option. Or if you're just distracted like me all the time, you know, it happens to me a lot that whenever I finish, you know, producing, because I'm a musician as well. So whenever I finish producing and I go to my bed, I realize when I'm tucked in my bed, I'm like, oh, I left my sound system on and it's, it's bad to leave it on. I would pay money, literally, I would pay money to be able to turn that sound system off, tucked in my bed, ready to get some shut eye for the next day, just click, boom, turned off, problem solved. Literally the best thing ever. So yeah, Ajax, amazing product, amazing thing to get, really, just really practical, and it solves a great problem. I love it. The wireless, who would have imagined? So yeah, hopefully guys, you really enjoyed the video. Look, give us a like, give us a comment, a subscription, because you know what? We are here to keep you updated with all of the new things in the tech world. So don't miss out. Like, comment, subscribe. You know it, we know it. Thank you so much and see you in the next one.